We don't always have the plant pots we want, and certainly for growing seedlings, no special equipment is required in the garden. Making paper pots from newspaper is environmentally friendly and very easy. I'm using the week. Hello, for those of you that were watching me on Insta Live and listening to me on BBC Radio London, I thought I would give you a quick lesson in how to create your own flower pot out of a sheet of newspaper. I've got a sheet of the week, that fabulous journal that gives us an overview of all the news, which to be honest, I don't want to be reading at the moment. So it's a sheet of magazine paper, but magazines aren't great if they've got a lot of gloss on them and a lot of colour print because that has heavy oils that when they biodegrade into the soil, aren't brilliant. So I am using a sheet of newspaper paper, do a little fold around the top, down by about an inch, a couple of centimetres, and then fold it back. Then fold the sheet in half, and ultimately that is going to be the depth of my pot, about that much, because I'm going to fold some of the base in. So just be aware how deep you wish your pot to be. And then I've got an empty jam jar that I'm using as a former, and I'm just rolling it around. The, the jar gets rolled around, paper goes around like that, and then I just bend and fold these ends in on themselves like that remove the jar and then just fold that top down upon itself and that will hold that into place you'll feel it's a bit precarious when you put it down but fill it with some compost and you will find that then it's much, much more rigid. Now, as these get wet, they will start to become a little bit flimsy. So I tend to put mine just into a little plastic tray like this, just to keep them secure. And they are such a brilliant, inexpensive way to create yourself a pot. And once you've planted something into them, any of your seedlings, these then you can plant straight into your garden and this will biodegrade. So the joy of it is, you don't need to worry, you're not going to disturb those roots. So all these things like zinnias and courgettes and sweet peas, things that don't like their roots to be disturbed too much, this is a brilliant technique. So please enjoy it. <laughs> 